Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Theory Fundamentals episode 10 Bayesian Nash Equilibrium A Bayesian Nash Equilibrium is a refinement of Nash Equilibrium where players have incomplete information about the other players In such games, each player may have private information known only to them which is represented as their type In Bayesian Nash Equilibrium each player's strategy maximizes their expected utility given their type and their beliefs about the other player's type. This means that no player can increase their expected utility by unilaterally changing their strategy, taking into account their own type and the strategies of the other players. Imagine an auction where two bidders, Alice and Bob, are bidding for three paintings. Each bidder knows their own valuation of the paintings but does not know the other's valuation. For simplicity, there are two possible actions they can take, bid high or bid low. Let's say that Bob's type is unknown to Alice and can either be a risk a first or A or risk seeker or S, whereas Alice's type is known so there is only one side of incomplete information. Here are the payoffs matrices for the different types of Bob. On the left, we have Bob as type A with the probability of P, and on the right, Bob as type S with the probability of 1 minus P. If Alice knows that Bob is of type A, then, bidding high is her dominant strategy, since her payoffs are bigger than the low ones, regardless of Bob chooses to bid high or low. If she knows Bob is of type S, then her dominant strategy is to bid low. However, in the reality, Alice does not know whether Bob is of type A, avoiding risk, or S, risk-seeking. She can only go with what she believes his type might be. And for that, we shall see from Bob's perspective. Bob knows for sure which type he is. If he is of type A, his dominant strategy is to bid high. Therefore, we can eliminate the low bid option from this type. If he is a risk seeker or type S, then he would bid low. Hence, the other option will be eliminated. And now we get the smirch payoff matrix with the prob probability P that Bob will bid high and 1 minus P that Bob will bid low. And now we can calculate the expected utility for Alice choosing to bid high or low as follows. After we equalize the utility of high bid and low bid, we get P equals to half. With P, the probability of Bob avoiding risk and will choose to bid high. So if Alice believes that P is lower than half, the probability of her choosing to bid high is zero, which means that she should choose to bid low. But if P is higher than half, she should choose to bid high. Whereas if P is equal to half, then it is indifferent for her whether to bid high or low. Well, that's it for today. If you want to understand more about incomplete information, check out this video on the left. Or if you are interested in how the real game of life unfolds within game theory concept, check out our next episode, Behavioral Game Theory. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.